right, season three, episode three of Westworld. All wrapped up now. This one kind of felt more like a setup episode, like we're we're starting to get push the pieces towards the stories and storylines that they're going to be part of. So I might as well just jump right into it. We opened up with a flashback to when Charlotte first brought, uh, or pardon me, when Dolores first brought Charlotte back online. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure who, which host uh, Charlotte actually is. Originally, I had thought that she was uh, Clementine, one of, the, one of the ladies who worked in the, the tavern slash brothel. And, and as this episode went on today, I kind of got, got a little, little bit more Teddy vibe from her. And I don't really know exactly who that who she is. So if anybody does know what host Charlotte is, please let me know because this is something I've been scratching my head about and just can't quite figure. Like originally I just was like, oh yeah, it's probably just somebody like Clementine. But now I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's somebody a little more important to Dolores. Like we had that scene where they, they laid in bed together and that was really when I thought to see started to think oh maybe that maybe this is teddy which would be uh very interesting i think and uh we might as well just continue with charlotte's character we saw quite a bit of her today we get to hear uh, like a little bit more of her behind the scenes at delos that serac is doing a hostile takeover or attempting a hostile takeover of delos and that inside delos there's a mole that's been feeding information to Serac. And we know from last season that uh, Charlotte was trying to send information out from, from Westworld. So that we kind of reveals that, yeah, it was her, but it's kind of an interesting dynamic because Charlotte isn't Charlotte anymore. Charlotte is the unknown host and not totally sure what that whole dynamic is going to be there. So sounds like there is still at least another mole inside of Delos. And we got to, got to like see that Charlotte has a life outside of, of Westworld and Delos, which was kind of interesting because that's one thing that w in previous seasons was totally removed because we weren't going back to the real world and now we're in the real world and a lot more can happen in that regard. So it was cool to see Charlotte having the sun and as the episode progressed, we start to see really Charlotte develop like a, a weird kind of love for her son, Nathan. She ends up killing that guy in the park and taking his dog and that was like the moment like, I'm going to, this is she, or Nathan is my son. I am going to protect him at a, no matter what. And that was, that was very cool to see. The rest of our story today was really around Dolores and Caleb. They are probably going to be our dynamic crime fighting duo for the season. This episode was all about, for their storyline, and it was all about Dolores really recruiting Caleb, which... I mean, all she really had to do at any point in time would just be like, hey, Caleb, uh, I'm going to save the world. You want to come join me? And he'd be like, hell yeah. But anyways, Dolores took the, the long route from where we ended on episode one. So two weeks ago, we saw Dolores collapse in the tunnel with Caleb. Caleb calls for help and the ambulance comes. So that's kind of where their story storyline picked back up and we get to see her in the ambulance, some random dudes, dudes in a cop car show up, be like, uh, we gotta, we gotta take Dolores. Yep. We totally gotta take Dolores because we're totally cops. And Caleb calls him out and then Dolores kind of has a little bit of recovery time and is back to her ass kicking ways and just starts killing dudes. So then just like, is like, Hey, Caleb, see you, see you later. Uh, by the way, you're probably super wanted now and you should probably change your name. And then we, we see there are people after him. He immediately gets caught. These, the dudes who catch Caleb start to torture him, trying to get information about Dolores. And it was kind of interesting that Caleb like just refused to give her up. 
Like he had no reason not to give her up, but he just, he wouldn't do it. And that was kind of cool. And I think that would, that kind of helped with, with kind of developing and, and outlining what Caleb and Dolores is, uh, what their relationship is going to be. So from, from there, you know, Dolores kind of starts to reveal a little bit of information about, I'm probably going to get this name wrong, but I'm just going to go for it anyways. Re Hobo Om. Does that, that sound right? That is the super AI computer that Insight has that is planning out everybody's lives. And I, I'm, I don't know what the name means or why it's just the, the Re Hobo Am. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It's weird. It's just a weird giant circular computer that everybody is either using or wants to use or wants to take down. But she goes into a little bit about how this computer and Insight has all this information on Caleb and has predicted out his life, predicted out the most likely outcome of his life, and which she, which Dolores tells Caleb is him going out to a pier that he had his first beer on when he was a kid and killing himself. So she kind of says that, you know, this algorithm has predicted your life, predicted this is the most likely outcome. So society and the people who have this information aren't willing to invest in you because they, they think that this is what you're going to be. It kind of gave me some vibes of a, an old movie called Gattaca. I don't know if any of you have, of you have seen it, but it's really that people are like genetically screened and their potential is basically written out on a piece of paper. And it, it's a story of this guy who steals another guy's identity to join in this uh, program that he's not allowed to do because, you know, his 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 genetics say that he can't do it. So kind of got some some Gattaca vibes there. And uh, yeah, Dolores ends up using this to recruit Caleb to Dolores's freedom fighters. I don't I don't really know what 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 her her and her crew are going by, but uh, yeah, that's it for episode three. We really just established Sirak as the big bad for the for the season a little more. We got to learn a little bit more of the dynamics of the Char Charlotte and. And maybe who she at, who her host is, and how that all is going to work. And then uh, just really Dolores just recruiting Caleb and giving us some little tidbits on Rehoboam. All right, that is it. I will be back next week. And uh, yeah, if you want to chat, hit me up in the comments, and I will see you later.